new cap for my old bottle. Yeah. Okay. I got him a new cap. Can I open this? She bought me an anniversary gift. Yesterday was two years. Guess what we did? We worked on our cars all day. Anyways, yeah, that was a mess. I forgot to even make a post. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm not too worried about it. She did too. Ah, we were busy. You want to open this? Yeah, ready? Hey guys, welcome back. So it is officially six summer. It is day one. We are here at the track in a field. He's in Texas. You're leaning on my train. Feel weird because we're ready. Um, so today, normally they start out with A and B slick and then A and B radial. They do an A and B radial and A and B slick. So we got here. We got set up. We were ready to go. Dad's not running around. We got here early. We got here early. We were, we were ready on early. Time we were early. on time. Yeah, yeah, it's he weird. wasn't even mad leaving the hotel. Yeah, because we were on time. It's a whole thing. So we got here, got unloaded. I went and talked to people, walked around. I don't want these videos to get boring because we're not like suffering because something will come. But we'll have more fun this week. Um. Anyway, so we did our driver's meeting and there's- Alex spilled her coffee. I did not. I okay. it. She had it here and somehow it ended up up here and she still had to catch it. I don't think there's ever been a driver's meeting she hasn't spilled coffee yet. That's actually true. That's fair enough. She did spill a little up. Anyway, it's day 43. We have 15 minutes until racing even starts. And the suit's already in the car. I'm just ready to get a suit on. Put and then tune -ups in there. I got a tune in there. I didn't even totally jack with it. I was going to. I asked. She said, should I change something? I said, why? Would, why? Like, what do you want to change? I don't know. Just change anything because I don't have anything to do. I'm like, why would you do this? is the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to put the tune up in there, have the tune up, have the car ready, and then go racing and relax. It's supposed Feels to be fun. Really wrong. But I this told them, I was like, I, the John Force crew, I might have already said this yesterday, but the John Force crew, when we were at NHRA, they're like, we don't work when we're at the, I mean, they work on what they have to, but they're like, we show up ready to race. We don't, you know, have to show up and be chaotic. And I'm trying to take that as a sign that it's okay to be not chaotic. Dad, what do you think? What do I think? Yeah. I think that I'm anxious. No. <laughs> so you see, has overwhelming anxiety because there's nothing I don't have to anxiety. do. Anxiety. I'm just anxious to get the first pass in because it's the first pass of the week. Yeah. You know, once we make that good hit, then I'm ready for the. Game. I was just telling them because I told him I was like, should I? Or I asked, I was like, should I change something in the tune? Because I just pulled Chicago Day Five, dropped it in the car. And see, that's that's it. why you're anxious because you're not doing anything. I said, I said, should I change something? He said, why would you change something? Because we're supposed to. We, we do it all the time. I don't have anything to do. I'm like, do not change anything. We honestly almost have it. I almost don't, shouldn't say no. Say I shouldn't it. say it. Stop. But don't they, they know what I'm talking about. We've done it for so long that we feel pretty comfortable where it's at right now. It only took 13 years of drag and drive to be prepared for one, guys. <laughs> I know. But no, that changes. Every time we make a change on the car, we got to start that process over. <laughs> it's like you talking last night about losing your data if you computer crash. I panicked because I started doing something on my laptop, like trying to disable drives and stuff to get a reader to work. And then like, it, I thought I locked myself out of my computer and I was like, I don't have any tunes backed up. We had a street tune in the car, so I had no race tune. And I like freaked out because just because it's like, oh, it's a couple log files and some stuff, that represents tens of thousands of dollars of like test and tune. Time and parts and fuel and trips and tires and, and, and this is I, like when you guys sell cars, you sell like you've sold a car before. It's because it sells at more money because you get that data with it. Yeah. So, anyways, long story short, I panicked, and now we realize we need a backup. Oh, I would have realized that a long time ago. We used to do it. We have backup parts. Yeah. We need backup data. And then his laptop almost took a crap yesterday. He doesn't have enough data in his yet. That wouldn't be quite the same. As long as I got the tune-up out of my car, I'm good. Yeah. As long if as we it... didn't have a tune-up, I would really be panicked. Yeah, you're right. You got that all worked. Out. We're good. So anyways, we're going to go out, go for it. He's, I told him, I was like, you're getting a cakey experience today. Because yeah. normally we're panicking right now. I feel like I'm not getting the whole experience then. No, no, you're, this is the experience you need to get. This is the experience I'm going to get. I think you should really blow get. the transmission up. Stop! No. <laughs> just so he has to help. No, he can do it for fun. We're not Okay, we'll it. just pull over on the side of the road and do it for fun. <laughs> we'll do it after. We after six summer, happen. we can. he can come to my shop and we can do it. It's not the same as in a parking lot. So we've been in parking lots before where the car would not run. I mean, you start it and you move 10 foot and it died. And we had cars circling us. Like, like an Indian, you know, like the old 
West movie. And they're circling. We're trying to work on cars, and they're watching us, and they're just making laps around us. And it's like, this is really sketchy. You know, midnight in St. Louis. You're on five-minute intro. Oh, that's not that bad. Oh. Sorry. No, no, I fault. want you to talk. Oh. It wasn't your fault. It was then before. We started talking. I was just trying to open it, and then it got rampant. Okay. As always. No, we're starting the video. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to our video. <laughs> and we're going to do a video, and then when we're done, it's going to be, as always. There you go. Stay pretty, go fast, and be, be bitching. Be, be happy. <laughs> go go <laughs> pretty, go pretty. Yeah. pretty. That's a new shirt. It's going to be, that's going to be something, something. Stay bitching or be bitching or be something. Be bitching, yeah. There we go. Okay. That's your new merch. That is. Okay. And if you want a be bitching shirt, bitchin'. see her. Put it in the comments. Let us know. <laughs>
I got back in it and then I saw him go to the wall and I was like, he's about to hit the wall. And I was like, shoot, I didn't get past him. So I gassed it again and got past him. And then I looked back and I'm like, I think he's in the wall. But luckily it's not. He definitely just destroyed his motor. But it's a good thing he had belly pants. So he didn't hit the wall. He didn't hit the wall. doesn't know what for sure. It's just parts. Parts just fail. Parts he checked fail. the data. Now it's your the data. purse is in there. Okay. All the data looked good. It just it failed. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a rod. And then mine, the, the run was no trash because the data, like I cut it so much. Between Nick and trying to get it down the track, it just made the fuel all wacky. So we got a real funny looking timing table. It's got to be retard in here. And uh, we're trying to get it down the track. So unfortunately the Camaro having problems, you see the driver trying to pull off to the side. We do appreciate that. It just looked like the cart did not quite have enough to make it to the right hand side of the racetrack. <laughs> your monster in here. <laughs> Don't fall down. My EMDs have left. <laughs> what did you do? What are you guys doing? Yeah. Okay, so Jason Moulton, the yeah. man who originally helped create the Mickey Thompson drag radio. So Oh man. Uh, there is hang on, I gotta, I gotta finish. Hang on. Uh -huh. So based on just that alone, you would think that he is a man that thinks things through and comes up with good ideas. Yeah. Well to completely go the opposite direction. Uh-huh. Not only did he suggest an idea that nobody would want to see, 
But I, I don't think the clocks will able to be clocked that slow. Slow. Yeah. So Jason suggests to me, let's run to the 60 foot mark. Okay. I told him it was a horrible idea. But nobody wanted to see it. I do. Immediately he said, <laughs> well, we could substitute ringers that'll actually yeah. run faster than us. So I'm like, yeah. so you suggested the idea. I told you it was a bad idea. And you immediately idea, your immediate rebuttal is ringers. Yeah. yeah. So apparently we failed on not only trying to run the race, yeah. but also with the ringers because we're plumb out of time. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. I, I nominate Alex as my ringer. Uh, I'm videoing, sorry. Huh? I'm videoing. Still, oh, yeah, you, could, you could probably still video you guys, and run no. and get there quicker than you. You guys can yeah. bring in ringers tomorrow. Today, that can't work. We have to well, get a baseline. But then okay. after we that, have to get, that's a, that's a really low after, bar baseline. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But after that, I think what it was is I said, well, you are formally sir, challenged. And I did accept your challenge. You did, but then you didn't show up on the track. See, I had this small problem of if I'm not in the tower, Tom's probably going to fire me. But you can carry the mic and run the same way. I agree. No, I will not. That's Excuses. Jeez. Yeah. There's, there's a lot. This is like... I didn't see him get out there and run. No. I, I, I was out there, though. I was waiting right. for... Actually, he waiting tried. for down. He tried. And, and as much as you're painting me to be the bad person, <laughs> when, when he said I win by default, what did I immediately do? I stood up and said, let's go do it right now. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna call. I'm going to call he our did. starter girl over. Hey, Dad. Our starter girl. <laughs> can you be the starter? Are we on starting time? girl. I, I would assume. So. Hey Todd, I go Todd, right I need you to be. Uh, I need you to be the finish line. Do we, do we actually need somebody to video at the finish line? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Oh, I'll be down there. Dad, how do you feel being a starter? Do uh, being a starter? Yeah. I'm okay with it, but I need a gun. Uh, wait, 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 wait. No. To shoot one of them? I, I, can, can I just can I just say this from the from the get go? This might be rigged based on the apparel. <laughs> No. Hey, you know what? No. We sponsor racetracks. That's true. Yeah. You know, what can I use to make a noise? Oh, uh, wad that up that and wad, empty that well, out, wad it up and shoot the cap off. Thing? That's a lot of water to drink. Chug it. Bath. That's a good hey, idea. Hey, Nick, though. can I have your bottle? Can you drink that and come here? And then, Todd, I need you. I got, well, uh, I need you to be the finish line. What about what are what is one of the some of the base? What about crossing the center line? Debate this. Can we, can, if we is there is there a center line? And no we, tripping each other. Are we, are oh, we, that's are, a rule. Are you like trying to? No, yes. tripping. Like, no tripping. No tripping. Okay. All right. Well. Wait. Are we running in the same lane or on separate sides? Well, no. We. It's to, right there, Dad. We have to. Okay. How about this? Real simple. We run on opposite sides of the tree. Stay in your lane. If you touch the center line with any part of your foot, you're disqualified. Any part of your foot. Yes, meaning okay, if, I, I if I roll my if I roll my foot out of my shoe because it's sticky and I touch the center line, any part of your foot. Oh, not shoe. I, I see. Not shoe because if it's sticky enough that you come out and well, you decide to keep right running, here. we're racing huh? right here. We're gonna race right here. Yeah, this is no prep. Oh, okay. Oh. That's why we're doing. All right, right. fine. All right, where's the finish line? Yeah, white line where it says reserve. Okay. Oh, you know, you gotta carry the monster. Yeah. That was part of the rules. No, it's too late. You're already in the lane. Yes, you have to carry it. Sign a waiver. That's probably a good idea. We can't run at the Fiat because I, like I won't be able to stop. Somebody's going to get their, their head in front of their <laughs> body. Run for the reserve. Run right. from there to here? No, to it. No, to oh, it. Todd, stand in the middle of the reserve right there. That's where he's going to be running. No, they're going to they got to yeah, split you, it. You better, you might not want to stand there once we take, well, we won't get there that fast. You'll have time. That's only, yeah, you can move. already bled here from yesterday. So That's only 30 over, foot. They got to go. They got to back, back up. You guys got to back up. Are you going to get in a stance? You got to get like, we want 50 foot. Well, we can't. I can't. Todd, you're the finish line. Nick, I need you to double to? verify the finish line. You get on one side, Todd gets on the other. Okay, Dad. What is your rules? Your official rules? That's probably I'm going to say, on your mark, get Bubba, set, no, no, and I'm going to pop Nick, my gun. And when they hear that pop, they no go. <laughs> and okay. I don't care if yes, they knock each again, other over. Your hey, I suggest yes. cheating. <laughs> Whatever. You know, if, well, I was if going somebody there. falls, it's going to be a disadvantage. So I would I suggest cheating. Are we allowed to, like, like to say some? Wait, 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 wait. What if you, you, wait, what you if come off and go in his lane? <laughs> Remember what you That's also a... suggested yesterday? You said we can't run. We have to briskly walk. That is what no. you said. No. He, wait, ask yeah, no. him. He did say I it. I did say that. Veto. But, but, Veto. But, but I, I, kind of think, I find, I don't care. We'll I kind of think our fans I don't care. We'll run. Your fans want to see you. Like 
we have our uh, yeah, okay, Dad, you gotta stand in the middle like a starter girl. Uh, what is half of zero? Dad, please, I please. I don't wanna be in the middle. That's like flashlight drag. That's dangerous. Please, <laughs> please explain hey. to our okay. people here. Chase is a race, right? Chase is a race. No, oh. no. <laughs> no. Okay. If you leave Are before the ready? green light, it's a loss. Yo! Yeah. Wait, no. See that? He almost freaked out. You gotta explain your starting procedure, okay, then we'll yeah, send them off. You know my starting procedure. I'm gonna say on your mark. Get set, and then I'm gonna pop this cap. It's gonna sound like a gun. It's gonna scare you. You're gonna wait. You're gonna pop on your the cap. mark. Get set. So on your mark, you do this. Get set is this. And I gotta get go. all the way down there. Yeah. Go, I mean, you do it. <laughs> okay. Are we? Are we? Let me check. Into that reserve. Into that reserve. The white line. Derek, white line. you're ahead. Okay, I'll back up. No, you can okay. step ahead. Pull forward. Inch in, back up really one smidge. Okay, now we're equal. All right, hang on. I don't care, it'll stop me. <laughs> no, because that's, that's the finish line. Oh, that's good one. Okay. All right. On your mark. Get set. Somebody in for you. You're kind of important. Is, I just want to right here. Yeah. I'm kind of important. No. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. He's important to us. Yeah. And somebody else. We feel bad for you, but it was great energy. That is like. You know, hey, at least it's on video. I've always said if I can't win, I'll be spectacular. You were spectacular. Yeah. I'll put on a show. You dove. You didn't even roll. You just dove into well, it. Just, you know, I was. I was. I was just, he thought he was closer to the finish line. Didn't he I saw. Right. He saw Derek get ahead of him. He's like, I'm gonna fall. Bam! Just yeah. so that way. Well, I, I don't want to lose. Dramatic. I want to have the attention. At least. Yeah. So I had to make it. Dramatic. See, this is a perfect example of no one remembers the winner. That's it. Everybody's gonna remember. To Nick. Nick. Yeah, no one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Derek. We just did a study on announcing and awards and winning, and this is proof that no one remembers the winner. Tomorrow you're, you're right because tomorrow, I was down there nothing. and everybody was worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> 
but you know what? He's like the big wheelie. Good job. You know, good job. Very, congrats on your win. You know, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd like to thank Jason for calling me out and then, you know, gracefully exiting. If you call what he did graceful. Um, I will formally call him out again tomorrow and we will oh, get gosh. ringers. Should I get so knee, 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 knee pads? Should I, was gonna say, should I get knee pads? pads? Well, then I would be stuck laying on the drag strip. <laughs> yeah. <get up>. Why <laughs> that's, where that's you wear you? scraper and scrape You me up tear ligaments because when you fall, it just stays. stays. So, oh, okay. so she said not today, but again, if we can call ringers per your rules, I'm already calling Alex for tomorrow. What? I may have, I may have broken You my said board, you so. would not accept the ringer call out today. It was too late. Okay. I didn't say anything about tomorrow. Fine. So who's your ringer? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, Alan Whitaker. Because no. yeah. yeah. oh. Alan will cheat. <laughs> That's a fact. Sorry. You, Jason. Can't race, you can't race Alan because your names both first start with A, so you're going to have to pick somebody else. Oh, yeah, you actually, I agree. It is. That's the Nick fine print. Nick, okay. Yes, that's true. I will take You know Nick. what? Okay. Race between Nick and Alan would be good. Yeah. Yes, it would. No, me and Alex. No. no you and Alan Whitaker. Oh, okay. No, we've already seen what happens when you and Alex run each other. I don't, have, <laughs> hey, I don't have health insurance, and I'm not fast. So. Wow, that's wrong. an excuse. And his broken car and his broken leg. No. <laughs> Can you get the tree, do the tree and everything? Sure. I mean, I might know somebody. <laughs> you guys better start the thinking this out. Call Moo. Yeah, call Moo. I'll call Moo. He'll yeah, race barefoot. Hey, he called you as a ringer. You call your ringer. Yeah. There's I was gonna say when you, when you ran Hoonigan, who ran? Who ran? Is that Moo. who it was? Yeah. Okay. Barefoot. Yeah. The fact that they were like, there's no way that he's gonna end up being the other guy, and he did. Feet. It yeah. was so hot. He had blisters on his feet. He just ran right out. Yeah. I feel like this is you're getting in the shower. Yeah. Yeah. It went out. It went out. Apparently, now you do. All right. It's finally time to get out of the track, and we're the first ones out. Done that Never happens. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rick Johnson. You bet. But we're gonna start it. We changed the oil, changed the injectors. Not Geech Works. Wasn't the Geech Works. And we are getting ready to get on the road. So I have to start this. You guys aren't done yet. I mean, today's already been interesting. I mean, that Mickey Thompson versus Derek Putnam race. Mm. All right. Just let it prime. <laughs> bottom of the pan but I think that's a white, white dot you're talking about yeah. I don't know what they are but it doesn't really look like that. Planing on the bench here. <laughs> Little machine planing. We found the flattest surface. So we have a theory. See, that's it's still, still not ceiling. So it's show still low there. Would you show? So you see where it's sanding here and it's it's taking the anodizing off back here, but it's not really touching it here. 
Go to the sun. Can you see it? This so, yeah, here, wait, turn it this way. This is the worst place for an oil leak. This is the first place of pressure. Hey. Dude. <laughs> first place of pressure comes up and gets in this cavity and goes up to the, the block, the main cap. So if it's got a leak right here, it's just spraying out. And when we first dropped it, we could see like the marks where it was trying to seal because on the block surface, it's very rough. Like mm -hmm. file. Block. Okay, so look, you can see the the file marks. Look, that's what it looks like. It's a machine mm -hmm. mark. But we're sanding them off over here because it's touching more rigidly, firmly here. But it hadn't touched that yet. And when we first put this motor together, um, we tried to prime it, and it didn't have oil pressure, and pulled it off, and it was like a hair line uh, gap, which was just where the the bolt was hitting. Or the stud, I guess you call it stud, right? Yeah, main stud. Was main stud was hanging down too far and it held the oil pump from sealing flat on there. And it would not make any oil pressure. And when we found it, and it we found it, we, we found, found it, it, fixed it, and got more oil pressure, but distorted the block of metal there on initial tightening, probably. So then tightening the resist that result. Show. Okay, so now see this whole side, we're, we're touched everywhere, we can see, but right here, this side, you can see, was a lot higher than these spots are low, where the black and is. And stud was hanging down and hitting here that originally prevented you from getting tight, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yep. it's got to be a little, little better at least. Now, when you guys think about why um, motors cost a lot of money because little bitty stuff like this, like if you're building the lower horsepower kind of combination, I mean, granted, even that needs oil pressure, but I'm just saying to say, you're talking a couple thousands and that can make that much difference. So anywhere there's a leak, you know? So, uh, yeah, you gotta be very, very attentive to detail. It's of the day. Where do you want me to start? 
don't know. If you start at the beginning, her battery will be dead. So. <laughs> Oh yeah, how to give you a real experience. I just wanted to not have He looks very experienced right now. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sleeping with my eyes open. It's been a day one, man. I know, it's been a heck of a day one. <laughs> day one? No good. No Friday when you come back. We'll see yeah. Well, Alex's car now has oil pressure and mine has none. <laughs> Yours has no oil. I know. You know, around the engine. Yeah, there's plenty of oil on my car. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Uncle Sam not like you right now? He's tried to kill me a few times this year. I don't know. Maybe because I said I, I would sell him. I don't know. Just okay. Alex Wednesday Adams wants me to be superstitious for some reason. When she's the black cat here. <laughs> <laughs> Will you guys end this? Are we what? So will you guys end this? It's been a long few miles. I don't know what to tell you. You did something, something's done, now we're here. No, I know, I know what you want. I just don't know what to tell you. We're here. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's real. We're questioning our sanity. Jeez. He's questioning. That's not my bag. FYI. No, I don't know. I don't know if the numbers that we're seeing is real. Had we not dropped the rod cap and like looked at the bearings and saw that the rods, the upper and the lower was good, I question what we're seeing. Like, I believe it, but I don't know. Anyways, we'll see what tomorrow holds, guys. Today's been eventful. Everything from the highs and the lows all the way to Jason tripping and shmammering his face. I watched that back editing and it was bad. Way to take one for the team. Sorry we're the Lulu, but we're tired. So, we're going to close this out, we're going to go in, and we're going to go take a nap. I'm going to take a nap right here. As always, be happy, go fast, and stay pretty, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Which is now. Sorry.